UK private hire industry is home to over 18,000 firms, with over 150 operating around Leeds alone. But with new and improved ways to book a taxi, traditional firms are struggling to keep up. This documentary will follow what life is really like competing against the international private hire giant, Uber. Uber is a fast and easy way of booking a taxi. Simply open the app, request a car, and watch your driver arrive within minutes. You can even connect your Spotify playlist. You can then sit back, relax, and enjoy your cashless journey. Tom Elvidge, Uber Leeds General Manager, agrees to sit down to tell us more. So I'm Tom Elvidge, I'm the General Manager of Uber in Leeds. So very simply, Uber is a way for, uh, for anybody to get a ride um, at the touch of a button using a smartphone app. Um, and when you request, it sends um, the notification to the nearest available driver uh, who has a device on their dashboard. Uh, they would receive the request and uh, they'd see the location of the customer, uh, accept the job, and then they'd go and navigate to the customer and pick them up. At that point, the rider and the driver are connected, so the rider sees in the app the name, first name of the driver, um, their photograph, the make and model of the vehicle and the registration number. Um, so it's very safe from that respect, all paid for cashlessly. We spoke to Max Med, who has recently moved from Uber, from Amber Cars, Leeds' biggest private hire firm. It's totally different for the good way. It's easy to talk to the bosses. It's easy for making my count to check uh, how much I earn. And uh, the good customer. <laughs> All this, the whole system is really relaxing and uh, stress-free. I can work when I want. Compared to Amber, you have to start a certain time. Right. You have to do some jobs. If you, even if you don't want to do it, you still have to do it. I think for after a few years, especially this system change, and everybody uses a cam, uh, smartphone now. So after a few years, I think it will be everything will be about like Uber. However, not everybody is as excited as MaxMed with the new technology. Uh, it wouldn't register any one of four cards that we were trying at the time. I don't really know why, um, but for whatever reason that, on that evening it wouldn't work. And for some reason they had taken the PayPal option off, um, so we couldn't pay online either. So we had to then sign into a friend of ours account and just use her card. <laughs> so who can you call when technology fails? I'm John and I just want to show you around Amber Cars private hire company, one of the biggest companies in Leeds, if not the biggest company in Leeds, private hire and I'm going to show you all about taxiing, the ins and outs and everything you need to know. This is the main office in Leeds, this is the garage that maintains all our cars, keeps them on the road and mostly making sure that they're safe and sound and there's no problem. You all right, you, pal? I'm alright, thank you, you alright? Are you on that TV programme, yeah? yeah? I was, and you showed. Most wanted. <laughs> <laughs> it's today. This moment in time, we've got approximately 900 drivers. I hire all the drivers. I fire all the drivers. I deal with all the complaints, sticking in the cars up, uh, making sure that all the drivers are clean and they're on the ball. All the calls, every time somebody picks a call up, it's not as easy as what people think, because every call has got to be logged. They think they can flag a car down, a private hire car. That's not the case. It's pre-booked journeys only. And people's got to remember that. So when they phone for a private hire car, they can book it. It's on the computer system. Everything's logged down, you're insured, and everything is all above board. And you imagine we're doing 100,000 jobs a week. The phones are ready. On a Friday and Saturday night, we can have up to 25, 30 staff answering phones. Good afternoon, I'm a car, I'm speaking. Leeds West Academy. Leeds West. Um, I'm just checking, we've got a taxi driver outside apparently um, to pick up. Yeah. Um, and I, I'm not sure if it's for one of ours or not. Right, I think we have got one booked in for yourself, but it's a three o'clock booking. Oh, all right. Thank all right, love. You. All right, bye. Bye. That's, that's, that's normal, that, that's just for. When it, when it gets busy, then City Centre might be half an hour, you know, if you've got loads of bookings coming up as well, because we can gauge it with the pre-books. They're always pre-bookings, you know, what people have pre-booked for, for, let's say, an hour's time or whenever. Do you know what I mean? It's all on system. We asked John why the call centre was so important to business with all the new technology out there. Because if there's a problem, 
with Uber, who's only got the app. You need somebody at the office where you can phone up. If there's a problem, um, a complaint about a driver or a complaint about anything at all, you need to contact somebody at the base who you can speak to and make sure that the problem's rectified. At Ambercars, we've got managers 24 seven, seven days a week. We've always got somebody you can phone and speak to and yeah, rectify the problem. But this isn't always the case, as many calls do go unanswered. So from 12 o'clock last night, we have done 3,218 calls, total calls, answered calls, 2,881 were answered, 338 were unanswered, so that's 10.5% unanswered. Is that because people have hung up? We're just too busy, just too busy in here, and um, it, we just didn't expect it, to be quite honest with you, it was just unbelievable. So how does an app deal with the same problem of high demands? The way that we look at it is reliability is very, very important to us at Uber. If it's 2am and you're on call lane in Leeds and you call a sort of traditional operator, they'll say, you know, the car will be 60 minutes or 45 minutes. With Uber, your car will still show up in five minutes, but you pay a little bit more for it. So if you want to wait, you can have a notification that will tell you when a surge has dropped. It'll send you a push notification to say prices are now back to normal. It may be five minutes, it may be 30 minutes, um, and then you can request again. But if it's important that you get home immediately, then you can always do that with Uber. This is something that's been done in, in you know, many different other industries for a long, long time. If you book a flight to New York today, you're going to pay more for it than you would in six months' time. It's kind of, you know, the basic economics of supply and demand. However, an app isn't the answer to everything, especially in the case of an emergency. Didn't someone leave a baby? Didn't, didn't the customer forget the baby when they got the shopping out? The driver didn't even realise until he got to his next customer and the customer got in and said there's a baby in back. And it was, yeah. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> so how has the rising competition affected business? Every company who comes into Leeds, who opens up a company, they're going to have an effect on our business because drivers come and go. They all think the grass is green on the other side. New company started, they're offering this, they're offering that. And they will go and they tell the mates it's fantastic. But after a week or two, they'll come back to Amber Cars. Because we've been going a long time, we know what we're doing. Uh, and the grass isn't always greener on the other side. However, for some drivers, personal safety favours over the green grass. Well, I've been, I've been assaulted three times in really? doing this job. Yep. Me, for instance, if I see a person that I would wound in, I'll just put myself unavailable. Yeah. I won't bother myself going to talk to them. Yeah. Yes, no, because some of them are very, very dangerous. Immediately you start talking to the operative, then they start, you know, yeah. kicking off. The first one was very unconscious, so they had to call the ambulance. You have to call the ambulance and then I woke up at the, at the hospital. I think Uber is one of the safest ways to travel. For example, seeing your driver coming towards you on a map, um, having their photograph, their name, the, the registration number, it's, it's very unlikely that you would get into the wrong car. We say to drivers every day when we onboard them, if you're unsure if you've got the right passenger, if it's you know, late at night and there's lots of people around, it's busy and you're in the centre of town, Ask the passenger to show you their phone. If it's got your photograph on it, there's no one else in the world who could have booked you. This revolutionary technology is one that Amber Cars has been using for over two years. The app is connected to the main computer system. So as soon as they press the app, uh, the computer system will pick up on that straight away. It's, it's fantastic technology. A, the driver, oh, there'll be a map on the phone where you can see where the driver is. How long it's going to be before it'll be before you picked up? If there's any problems at all, it's all there in front of you on your phone. Fantastic! You can even pay now with your credit card on the app. Unbelievable. So, how do the rival firms feel about one another? I think we've been welcomed uh, in Leeds, you know, by drivers and passengers, and I think from the other operators, I think everybody really values competition. Competition's good. It makes it better for drivers, and it makes it a lot better for passengers. Um, so what we see is we kind of operate best in places where there is competition. I think any taxi company is good. Any, any, it's good for business. It keeps you on your toes. You can't get too com um, complacent. So another company coming along, it's fantastic for business. It's really good. 
It's safe to say Uber has divided the city of Leeds. Companies have lost hundreds of drivers to the app run business. Uber's growing popularity among drivers and customers reflects society's desire for convenience. Drivers like MaxMed feel safer because of Uber's cashless system and customers are also enjoying the many benefits of the smartphone app. However, Uber's time at the top may be short-lived as many companies, Amber Cars being one of them, are now implementing similar features. With the rapid innovation of technology, from apps to driverless cars, who knows what will be next for the future of transportation. You're born with the world in your hands And a gift that's individual So be careful with your plans When you're getting closer To seeing your dreams through Be wise of those new around you If it was that easy There was no need to try We could gain our dream in one day But would that be alive? It's all about the journey It's all about the journey Journey.